Hi, uh, on this tutorial I'm going to uh, try and show you how to do uh, an NZB file from start to finish which includes RAR, parring, randomizing, uh, and posting. Um, there's three programs that you will need. Uh, Java 7, JBinup, and Simple Packer. I will include uh, an NZB link in the post when I'm done and also provide a JBinup key file. Um, so don't start this tutorial until you, you have that installed. Probably make it much easier. Uh, also, this tutorial will be fairly long as it will I will try and cover basically everything. Uh, okay, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we want to open up File Explorer or Windows Explorer. Uh, in, in my case, I use XY Explorer. It's the same idea. <clears throat> and the first thing we're going to do is, uh, and I'm going to be using C drive. You can use whatever drive you wish. And I have a directory called downloads where I've downloaded the programs that I'm going to be using here. I'll just open that up and check to make sure that everything that we need is in here. And it is, so I'll just go back. Now we want to create uh, a directory for Simple Packer. Uh, it, it has to be in a directory by itself or you'll be end up zipping everything. We don't want to do that. So we'll, we'll right click on the, on the blank screen and go down to New and Create New Folder. Click on that and it'll pop that into here. And we'll, we'll name this uh, one in CB uh, for namesake. It really doesn't matter what you want to call it. And just push enter. And that will put that right up into here. Uh, now we want to put Simple Packer into that directory. So we're down to downloads because I know that's where it's at. And I'll right click on that and copy it. Then go back to the one NCB folder we just created, open it up and paste that into there. Now we have Simple Packer EXE in there all by its lonesome. And now we want to add our, the file we're going to RAR and PAR into here also. So we'll go back to um, our downloads because that's that's where everything I, I am going to use I put uh, ahead of time. So to make it simple, your, your movie file or video file or music file could be anywhere. And we'll just simply uh, right click on that and, and copy it again and go back into our folder we created, 1NCB, open that up and right click and paste that movie file into it. This is a short movie file, it's just a sample uh, just to show you how it's done. So now we have only these two items in here and that's all we want. Um, to, to RAR and PAR. If you put anything else in here, it'll all get uh, RAR and PAR. So you can add what you want. And uh, simply go up here and click on Simple Packer EXE. And it should open up this window here, or very similar to this one. Now the first thing we'll go down to is Advanced. And we'll click on that. And I normally uh, compress my files 40 megabytes per file. I find that that is works best for me when I upload to Usenet. If I get bigger than that, I have issues with uh, with errors. So I, I try to stick to around 40, 45. And the par files that you want, um, anywhere between five and 10 is probably more than sufficient. Uh, I generally use nine, eight or nine. We'll, we'll do nine with this one here, put that into it. Then over to here to extension settings. And you can either choose zip, RAR, or X00. I always use X00, just my preference. We'll come down here to add packer, unpacker zip file. And we don't want to add it in any files to it, so we'll, do, we'll undo that. And that's basically all there is to it. Then we just go back up here to the top and prepare files for, for packing. And we'll just click on that 
and it'll start doing its thing here. <clears throat> and the full length movie will, will take a while. But now we'll go back over to our our upload file it's created because that's where it's going to be putting the files and they'll put them in here as archive parts and the par two parts and when it's all done it'll randomize and rename it and we see it's done that here already and this is the renamed randomized file name and the extension x01 through to six um, and the PAR2 files are all also included here. So we'll, we'll just uh, uh, close that window for now. Um, it'll say file creation is finished, referring to Simple Packer. We'll just click OK and that should close both screens here. And that's it. We have completed our uh, randomized RAR and PAR file. That's simple. Now I'm assuming that you have uh, JBin up installed already. Uh, mine is on the desktop. Uh, I don't know where yours will be. Uh, we're just going to click on that and open it up. <clears throat> and this is the type of screen that will pop up for you. I have mine installed already, so I'm not going to go through the process of installing it. It's quite simple. <clears throat> uh, a couple of things here. Uh, first thing is go to the help file. Open that up. And we'll come down here and load key file for jbinup, which you've already downloaded in the package. And click on that. And you may have to browse for it. Uh, mine is in downloads. I know it's there already. And uh, we'll simply click on that and open it. And it will tell you that your key file has been successfully imported. And we'll click OK. Uh, originally, when you get this program, it'll be, it'll be in German or, or, or Dutch, one of those languages. I'm not real sure which one it is. It, it doesn't really make a difference. It's just a little easier to see uh, uploaded job name, subject, and status, renaming groups, and poster in, in English language. Um, the next thing we'll go over to is file, and we'll open that up. And we'll come down to settings. And in the common settings, uh, we'll tick on use default working directory. And it'll pop up with the screen here saying the following options are possible. Yes, no, whatever. And we'll just going to click on yes. And that leaves your, our default uh, root directory here for, for anything we're doing with JBN up. Um, everything else pretty much stays the same in here. The top one I don't tick, I, I, I never have. Other than that, all four of the other ones I, I do tick. Then we'll come over to server settings. And as you can see, since I've had mine installed and used it, I have uh, four accounts in here. You will have nothing in here when you start. Um, so you would come down here to add server and, cl and click on that. And it will pop up with a screen like this, but it'll be blank. There will be nothing in here for you except for maybe some numbers in here. And uh, here is where you put your server nickname. You can call this whatever you want. Uh, like if you have AstroWeb, you might want to put AstroWeb in there so you know that that's exactly what it is and not some random name that you, you can't figure out. Um, the server address, uh, say like if you're using AstroWeb or KubeNet or whatever, they'll provide you uh, with the address and, and there's several that you can use. You can use US, European, SSL, maybe three or four different ones they supply it with you. Um, you put, put your choice in there. And where it's server port, I always use secure server port, so I, I put in uh, port 563. And the number of connections that comes with your host server uh, can range anywhere from uh, 10 to 50. Uh, with KubeNet that I'm using here for this example, it is capable of doing 30, so I set it at 30. And down here to encrypted SSL, we tick on that, and it goes with our 563 server port here. Um, timeout, 
I set that to 180. I don't know what the default is offhand. I don't remember. And uh, login details. And down where it says username, that is provided from the Usenet server when you sign up. Just enter that into, into this space here. And also the password they provide you or you selected, you put that into here also. Eh? Uh, we'll come down to header check settings. Uh, we'll want to tick on that. Header check if it's possible with this server. Yes, no. We'll tick yes. Uh, again, I don't know what they use for default in here. I, I think these are, I put 180, 60, and 10. <clears throat> then down to uh, servers activated. Tick on that. Use server for uploads. Tick on that. Use server for header checks. Tick on that. And we'll just simply press OK. And that should be all set up in here. You can add as many as you want in here, as, ma as many server hosts as you have, or blocking these accounts, whatever you you have. <coughs> and we'll we'll just apply that. Then on to poster settings. Uh, I have a couple set up in here already. Uh, you will have nothing in here, um, as far as I know. But again, we'll come down to add sender. And uh, I'll, I'll start from scratch with this, just add a new one for you. <clears throat> and the name, you can use any name you want. Uh, I'll use QWQS for this example. Uh, the email address, you can use whatever you want also. And I'll use QWAS at QWAS.com. And make this your default if you wish. Tick that. Press OK. And you'll notice that it pops it in here. You can add as many as you want here too. And your choice to pick which ones you want to use when you post. Uh, right now this one is marked as default. QWAS, the one we just made. Eh? And this will be the email address that goes with it. <coughs> and we'll apply that. That's all we want to do there. Clipboard, we don't want to do anything there language. Since we added the language key file here, we want to select English from here and press apply. Uh, special command, nothing we want to do there. News group settings, uh, this is where you add your alt binaries at. Um, you may have one in here by default, um, but when you want to add a new one, you just come down here to add group. And it'll pop up in here with alt binaries, jbin up test. Uh, we'll just highlight the, the part we don't want there. Um, and we'll add, uh, say, TV movies. <clears throat> and we'll press OK. And we'll see that that's been added in here. Eh? Um, there should be a list online of all the alt binaries you can use. Um, I don't even know if TV movies is one, but uh, these other ones definitely are HD TV times 264 movies times 264 music. Uh, just an example how to do it. Um, update notification. I wouldn't tick anything here because this has been a, a, a beta program for years and I, and I can't see them ever changing it. Now just click apply and OK, and we're all done with that. <clears throat> now uh, we'll get on to the to the video part of it, uh, uh, uploading the file that we've uh, randomized and parred and RAR'd earlier. And we'll come over here first and we'll click the plus sign. And I'm not sure if this will come up blank or it'll come up with some other string in here. But we uh, we want to change that to the file we're uploading this name here. So we're going to go back over and open up our file explorer, or Windows Explorer, or whatever we're using. And it should open up exactly where you left off that uh, in, the, in the upload folder. I'll just go back to let you know that this is one we're working on and I'll click the upload folder that'll open that up again the files so the very top one is the NFO file we want to right click on that and go come down and rename it and it's highlighted we'll right click on that copy it 
we'll come back over to our J bin up and highlight that line there and replace it with the file we're working on and we'll just paste that in there <coughs> and now you'll see it's the same same name as this here eh? <coughs> so now we come down to add to add the files that, the, that we've already are in part again so we'll come down here and add <coughs> and uh, by default it should open up in the last window that we were working on but if it hasn't, you'll have to browse for it again, and it'll be under our, our 1NZB directory we've created under Upload. And I'll just go back and, sh and show you that. <clears throat> and this is our file we've created. We'll double-click on this to open it, and we'll double-click on the Upload file to open it. Now, we want to select all these files. So uh, in Windows 10, uh, I have to hi highlight or click on the first file. And then go to shift and press and and it'll highlight all the files uh windows 8 8.1 windows 10 is the same prior to that i think you can just copy and paste i'm not sure <clears throat> then we'll come down here once we have them highlighted come down here and press open and it'll put all the files into our our page for upload and we can see that they're all in there eh? so the next thing we'll come down to forward and it'll forward all those files and then we'll have a choice of which alt binaries we want to upload to uh, i'm just going to leave it where it is right now on on movies you can select whatever ones you put in here and then we'll come back over or down to add job and we'll click on that and it'll pop that file into the upload section here and that's the name of the file we're uploading this is the size of the file we're uploading this 221 megabyte small file and the groups that you selected and the poster ID that you put in here which we put in was QWAS <clears throat> then we come over to the play arrow and just click on it and we'll automatically start uploading the files uh, to Usenet. Uh, it starts off slow. Uh, it'll build up to the max your ISP allows. Uh, this file here should probably only take about a minute to upload. Because um, I usually get up to around uh, uh, two, uh, two megabyte, something like that. Uh, but anyhow, I'm going to pause it here while, while this runs through its thing. Okay, and we're back. I'm just went uh, want to bring back in here show is taking place um, these files are still being uploaded uh, this one is being uploaded presently these are all uh, successful uploads um, this will only take a few more seconds okay we're all happy and it'll click up here to the completed NCB file we want to click on that uh, because this uh, program does not automatically up, up load the NZB to the Usenet. We have to do it manually. And uh, in my estimation, this is a great way to do it because you know that when you post this NZB, the file should already be propagated through the Usenet system. So we've highlighted that. Now we'll come up to Edit and click on Edit. And scroll on down to Create NZB File. And we want to click on that. And it'll ask you where you want to put that file. And, and of course, we want to put it into the directory we've been working on uh, that we created. So we'll, we'll double click on that and open it up. And we want to put it into the upload section where the rest of the files are. And we'll just click Save on that. And that's it. The file is uh, put into that directory. Um, I always delete the file when I'm done. And I close the program out. And uh, then we'll go on to uh, how to post all of this. Uh, first, we'll open up our file explorer and uh, just double check to see if it's in here or not. And we're back into our uh, directory we created one NZB. Uh, this is the upload files that we part in our yard 
And uh, here is the NCB file that we just created. Uh, now you just uh, post uh, that NZB on your favorite website, and that's about it. Good luck.